I'm gonna try to make a quick video. Uh, doing a, uh, a Valentine's Day acrylic pour. Cause I thought that would be a pretty cool idea. I'm going off my girlfriend's reference piece that she just did. I thought the colors came out pretty cool and thought it would look, would make for a pretty cool video. Um, I'm using basic paint and cheap paint. Um, there's the cheap, where's the basics, basics and cheap paint. They seem to work pretty good by themselves um, and with each other when it comes to pouring. And I'm using the rule of one part paint, one part flow draw, and one part water with one to two drops of silicone in each bottle. And you want to make sure you uh, mix the mix the paint and water with the flow troll uh, really well. And when you add the silicone, only add like one to two drops, and make sure that it's mixed lightly, very gently. You don't want to over mix it, otherwise you won't get those cells. So the silicone that we're using, we got this off Amazon called Pixis Acrylic Pour. 100% um, silicone, non-toxic, untoxic, and odorless. All right, um, so let's jump into this. Yeah, he's kind of waking up a little bit. Our little guy's waking up. What what'd you say? She added uh Oh jeez, I forgot what she added. I think yellow in the center. And that is our crazy cat. <clears throat> yeah. It's a yellow in the center. And liquid acrylic gold paint on top of the yellow this stuff is really heavy is what she was saying it sinks to the bottom so I have no idea how that's gonna come out hopefully it'll come out cool oh she said she put pink first that's brilliant <laughs> I already messed this up <laughs> uh, well, maybe I can improvise uh, that's what she said she did. She improvised a lot, so that's what I'm going to do now. Alright. Um, she hit this, like the sides, with the darker, this darker blue. I love this color. I already messed it up. <laughs> I forgot to add pink in the middle, so I just did it on the... Oh, okay. Kind of improvising right now. And this purple's pretty thick. Oh. Yeah, I've got my purple too. Where? Right between the two blues. It's definitely not going to be anywhere close to what she did. <laughs> yeah, I'm just improvising. <laughs> Alright. And she said she used a baby wipe for this, but... Oh, they're just the palette knives? Just these guys. Mm -hmm. 
That's our crazy cat trying to wake up. Yeah, wake everyone up. Okay, so, so I guess she just played with us for a little bit. You see, this is a result of <laughs> our crazy little guy. Oh, do you have something I can buy? Never mind, I'll just use this. creates that same effect though if you were to do the swipe technique this is just like wetting the the bottom of a paper towel and then putting a color at the at the bottom and then just swiping Sticks, come on, man, you are really pushing your luck. Kind of looks cool. like the way that came out I think it's pretty cool I'm gonna keep that as is so yeah that's basically it really really simple um, just make sure afterwards hit it with the torch a little bit get rid of those bubbles bring out those cells a little bit more Careful not to, to apply the torch too close because you don't want to warp your paint and have it dry all funky and create cracks later. Zoom in on that. I think that came out pretty cool. It's blurry. Is that a little blurry? Yeah, hold on. See, I, I hate that when it does that. Like if you're moving your hands a lot, like it'll go out of focus a little bit. Love those colors though man that's i want to do a, a much larger piece yeah, with, with really these cool. colors and you, you drift the gold in there too mm -hmm. yeah i like i like it you got it to stay more on top i like that part the the edge right mm -hmm. there like yeah all the, the edges are cool yeah and the yellow coming through yeah are you are, should i stop it yeah